every brother Let's call it in the crossfire Without mercy. How's it going guys? It's Al Nino here and I'm going to showcase a quick tip with Katarina pre-level 6 stuff against Jace. Now as you all know, Jace can be pretty obnoxious with his hammer. When you try to EW on a Jace, he knocks you back with the hammer. So we're going to showcase the standard typical combo for Katarina pre-level 6. So I have my friend here, Ani, and we're going to try this right now. Okay, so I'm walking. Let's say I'm in lane right now. And I go for EW. Alright, get ready, Ani. So I'm walking like this. EW. Boom. See that? Right here, I have to walk back to the dagger in order to get the spin damage through. And it can be... That spin damage doesn't go through. So how do you deal with that situation, right? That's pretty fundamental to actually lay out your full damage uh, in lane. So this... Now... On and now you do nothing, so you don't knock me back or anything, right? Just stand still. The standard combo would go like this, basically. E, W, basic attack, spin, A, and then Q, like that, and then A, E, A. And that's pretty much going to kill. As you can see, we did a lot of damage there. That would pretty much kill Jace, right? Uh, so you A, and then E, A, grab the Q dagger. You don't want to shump on the Q dagger directly, because... You want to lay down your auto attack and then get the spin so you get more shampoo damage. Now, we're both going to go to a mid lane now and we're going to showcase how you would typically combo a Jace. Because he can knock you away from the W dagger. So how do you deal with that, right? So we're going to be laning here, okay? So we're just farming and I'm going to Q and then on you. I want you to like walk towards the Q dagger, like intentionally. Alright, All right, we're going to try that again. So I'm going to Q this minion here. And let's say she's walking back. Now I shampo on Jace, knock back, and then I get E in a bit. So then I E W, and then the W spin goes through. And that's how you land two spin damages that go through like this. And I'm about to kill her. So let me kill her. First blood. There you go. You get 400 gold. And there you go. That's how you typically deal with Jace uh, pre level 6. You want to aggress properly and shampo on the Q dagger so that you get the spin damage through. Th that cannot be avoided. When you shump on the Q dagger, they can't just avoid that, right? They have to eat the damage because they made the mistake of standing next to it. So you want to shump directionally, get the damage through, get the shump damage through, and yeah, when they knock you back, just E on them. That's why I think this is a good method pre-level 6. Keep in mind this is only pre-level 6 stuff where shump refund is on a higher cooldown. And that's how you typically deal with that. So thank you guys for watching. This has just been a quick tip. Keep in mind this applies to not just Jace. This even applies to LeBlanc who has a W escape. So you can Q and then she tries to escape. And then you can try to shump on her with another shumpo. When you get the Q refund. That's pretty much it. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you all on the rift. Peace out. She tried to die me. But you ain't killing me no. Mm -mm -mm. So, recording, three, two, oh god, why am I going to laugh? <laughs> Alright, let's calm down. Why am I laughing? It's not even funny. Come on, chill. Chill, Alino. <clears throat> hey guys, it's Alino. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, here we go, here we go. Get the dragon back. <laughs> Alright, here we go, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, here we go. Alright, here we go. Three, two, one. Ah, God. Wait, wait. <laughs> Three, two, one.